Hey guys, have another tutorial here. What we're going to do today is actually teach on the lighting uh, for our stage. And as you know, our lighting runs through our Ableton program. So go ahead and open up our Sunday lights. And uh, actually, what happens is ProPresenter. Uh, down here, open up ProPresenter, um, communicates to Ableton through uh, the slides that we click on. Um, we've done one tutorial where uh, we put these blue dots here, which is a, a right click, and we add a cue, add a communication cue, add a MIDI, and MIDI note on and we've uh, gone through that in a previous um, tutorial. What happens when you click on a slide when Ableton uh, is, is open uh, to the Sunday Lights program? Um, you can see the, the stage there, all the lights uh, uh, come on. So what we're going to do is uh, talk about how to change the color of the lights. And what we'll do is we'll go into uh, Ableton here and again you can see these are all of the uh, communication cues that speak to uh, ProPresenter. And here you see all of these that have been pre-made uh, we don't use but five or six of them in total. So, how do we do this? The way Ableton works is through plugins, and what that means is Ableton takes a program, brings it in, and works through the program inside of Ableton. And if you see here, this A. DMX's dash FX. Uh, that is the program, DMX's. That's the program that we use for our lights. And if you see down here at the bottom right, the, you click on this box, uh, this brings up uh, the plugin itself. So this is where the program lives inside the, this channel. To open up the, the program itself, there's a little wrench here. Click on that. And this is our uh, controller for our lights. And uh, all the lights, uh, as best, as best uh, I could, uh, have labeled them to what's relevant on the stage. And the way this works is you have a red, a green, and a blue for most everything. The way this works is to change the color, you, slide, you move the sliders up and down. If you see the, on the stage there, I'll bring up the green and it'll change that, the, that center purple. And... Uh, whatever uh, color palette you have, you can um, accommodate that color palette to however you need it. So that's how you change the colors. How do you save everything? This is the preset manager. Here we have all of um, these that are programmed. So here on the right hand side in the master we have um, all of the uh, verses and choruses and when you click on song one it brings up all of these and these will uh, match up to those on the right. So whenever you click on one of these your lighting will adjust to its preset. 
Um, each one is a little different from the last. So what we'll do is we'll uh, tinker with this course one and and it's really important that you make sure you are selecting uh, the proper bank and then the proper preset. So once we've done that, we'll go into the preset manager. And then what we can do is change the lighting to suit whatever uh, color palette we have on the screen. So if we're uh, looking into having most everything be in the green family uh, we probably want to bring down some reds and you can see the stage uh, the back of the stage lights are uh, adjusting uh, to all that and let's do the piano LED, which is right in front of the drums. You can see that one pointing up onto the ceiling. The LEDs that are in the middle, right below the, s the screen here. There you go. You can see that. All right, so once we've uh, adjusted our lights to what we desire, what we'll do is go back to our preset manager, make sure we've selected uh, the, ser the specific preset for that to work, and we click overwrite, and then we click OK, and that will save that preset, so every time you go to it, this will be the lighting configuration. I'm going to cancel that out because I don't really want to save it. Uh, so that's how uh, changing the lights uh, for the setup of your, your stage and for whatever color palette you have.